Hey guys, so this video is for those of you who are updating your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and it was jailbroken. Um, this method that I'm going to show you is a little bit different. Um, it's just that you're going to lose your jailbreak, so you're going to have to re-jailbreak it. This is, for me, the safest way to upgrade, update your iPhone and iPad. Uh, remember, if you have an old iPhone, so a 3GS, um, a 4, or even a 4S, um, usually 4S is not so much, but between 3GS and 4, a lot of them have been unlocked using jailbreak. So if you do this, you will lose that unlock and you're going to have to unlock it again. Um, you might even get stuck. So don't do this and don't update your phone if you have it unlocked using Cydia, okay? Um, there are ways of actually updating it, but that's in Cydia, not through iTunes, okay? Um, other than that, I wouldn't update it. I wouldn't if you if you have it unlocked using jailbreak don't do that okay so if you have it unlocked using jailbreak that means you have that ipad baseband on it and um so you don't want to do this okay if you have an iphone 4s and above you shouldn't really worry about it um usually iphone 4s's they didn't um unlock them using that method okay um not that all iphone 4s's haven't been unlocked that way but usually they weren't okay um i'm pretty sure like more than 60% of iPhone 3GS's and 4 have been um, unlocked using the jailbreak way uh, just because it was free and easy to do so that's why we did it that way before so don't do that if you're gonna do it this way okay so um, this iPad that I have right here is jailbroken um, but I want to update it just get rid of the jailbreak and re jailbreak it later on so the way to do it First of all, is actually to restore your iPad. So before you do that, make sure to click on uh, this computer, then click here on backup now. So do a backup. Also do a backup manually on your iPad or iPhone iPod Touch. Uh, go into your iCloud and back it up. So there you have two backups, and that way, if anything happens, hey, you have two backups. You can't go wrong, okay? Um, after that, we're not gonna actually press update. You're gonna go to restore iPad. Okay, you might say restore iPhone or iPod Touch right here. So we're just gonna click on that first. Okay, this will delete everything. Okay, um, so you might get this message. So you have to go into your iPad. So in this case, right here. So um, it tells you to go into your iPad, iCloud settings, and go to Find My Friends. So that's pretty easy and basic to do. So iCloud. Okay, so I'm going to show you right here. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. So all you guys have to do is go into your iCloud settings. Okay, under settings. Just go into iCloud. Under there you're going to see Find My Friends. And just turn that off. When you turn it off, it's going to ask you for your password. So we're assuming you know your password. So we're going to go right into it. I'm going to put my password in. Um, it's one of my passwords. And then you just press turn off. After that, it's turned off. You're good to go. You can just turn off the screen or leave it on. It doesn't matter. Just click OK. We're going to click on restore again. You shouldn't have to press two times, but sometimes you do have to. Um, restore an update. Yeah. And then it's going to start the process. So the first time you do this, um, the restoration, it's gonna work. It's gonna erase everything from your iPad. It's gonna bring it back to factory settings. Then it's gonna ask you if you want to update and uh, load your data from before. So it's gonna give you the latest backup that you did. And that way you're gonna get everything back on again, okay? If you have jailbroken apps on it, um, those will get loaded, but they will not work. Okay, so you will see them there, but you won't be able to open them and they won't function at all. So I would suggest just getting rid of those if you don't want to jailbreak again. If you want to jailbreak again, just leave them there. Um, don't worry about it. And then later on when you jailbreak, um, make sure to do the jailbreak first and then load your stuff on it. Okay. So once it's done doing this whole process, which takes forever, um, especially the restoration. So once it's done doing the restoration, 
um, you might see some of these messages that you know apply changes to your iPad and so on. Just click apply. Okay, that's just saving some stuff. Um, you might have to restore it. Well, you only have to restore it once, but you might have to update it twice just because you had the jailbreak before. Okay, so don't worry about it. You won't have that many issues. Um, for example, are you sure you want to stop and restore your iPad? Just press restore. You already did the back up, so you don't need to do it again. Okay, so just press restore again. So once that's up and running, you should be fine. Remember, press update later on. It will update by itself for the most part. Just leave it there. Um, it will load all your apps again and everything. Um, once again, we did do two backups. So one on iTunes and one on your iPad, iCloud, using iCloud. Um, this goes the same for your iPhone or iPod Touch. You're gonna do the same, okay? Uh, once again, if you are jailbreaking, don't load your backup onto your iPad. Okay, just let it update, let it do its stuff, but don't load all your data on it, and then do the jailbreak. Do the jailbreak, then hook it, and you're not gonna lose anything, okay? You're just uh, uploading your data after you do the jailbreak, okay? So remember to do that if you're jailbreaking on iOS 8, all right, and whatever iOS you're updating to, right now it's 8, so right now it's 8, okay? So, so as you're doing your iPad, or iPhone you will see this Apple and you should see a loading bar right there okay so just let it load it will take some time um, that's all you have to do okay so that's how you pretty much restore and update your iPad or iPhone iPhone touch if it has been jailbroken remember you have to do jailbreak once again in the end and that's it for this video if you guys have any comments questions please write here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you